Hey everybody and welcome back to Wobbly Life! Now earlier this week I got the whole family together to do some trash zone wobbly run and hide and seek. Unfortunately I screwed up one of the settings and the audio was unusable. So we're gonna have to wait and try and re-record that for you guys and get it out to you soon. In the meantime I'm just gonna run around the arcade here and we're going to show you the, uh, the two secret rooms here in the arcade lobby, if you haven't seen them yet. The first one is located back here behind these two machines with the out of order sign on them. Now, now this is one we found when I was playing with the family. You can see us here all messing around. And it leads to a room back here with an elevator. And if you take that elevator upstairs, you come to a wall. But this is not just a wall, it is actually a wall of boxes. And you can just push your way through there and enter this whole new area. And it's an area that's definitely seen better days. Hey, you're not supposed to be up here. Yeah, I, I doesn't look like anybody's supposed to be up here. And, um, yeah, this is apparently the lost and found for the arcade, though how somebody lost a car and, and actually how they got it up here, those are, uh, questions best left for another day. Now, now there's a room up here for, uh, billiards, though it doesn't look like anybody's played in quite a long time. But what most interested me was this room with the, um, the toilet encased in a glass cabinet. A glass cabinet you cannot blow up, by the way. We, we, we did try that. Um, so yeah, I, I, I don't know what this this means, but I'm hoping that, that someday the meaning behind this toilet will be explained to us. You also have a snack bar here that overlooks the playground area, which is kind of cool, with a bunch of these bouncy rabbit guys. Now the second secret room is over here at the bowling alley. If we go behind it to try and get behind the pins, we find this little icon on the wall. And it's an icon of what looks like a turtle. So uh, after trying to uh, push on the walls and figure out what to do, I remembered there is a turtle toy in the playground area. So I rushed back in there, and if you jump up to the top level here by the zip line and drop back down, you have a little menagerie I pointed out in the last episode. And some of the stuffed animals here are turtles. So I grabbed one of the turtles and decided to head back to the picture of the turtle on the wall. And doing that lights up the turtle and reveals a secret room. And this room is full of more turtles. The mystery of the turtles. All right. So those are the two secret rooms in the new arcade. But that made me wonder. One of the new maps in the sandbox mode is a city map. And I wondered if there would be any secrets hidden around the city. So let's jump in and see if we can find any. Now the city map in the sandbox mode is actually bigger than the city map in Wobbly Life. And um, <clears throat> it is an island. And in the center of the island is a giant park, kind of like Central Park in New York City. And then there is a bunch of tall buildings all around it. And if you haven't played sp sandbox mode, you can spawn different vehicles, different props, all sorts of things, and just play around with the game. Hey, I don't... Is this one of the vehicles from the construction site? I, I don't remember that one. Um, let me take a look at this. Uh, let me get First, let me get that off. Okay. Yeah, I don't... Ah, wait, no, that's not what I wanted to drive. Stop. Oh, there are AI cars that drive around the city. I, I was wondering about that. Oh, this is kind of fun. Is this in the in the uh, construction site in the in the regular game? Hmm. All right. So, 
Um, it looks like the city, for the most part, is just exteriors. But uh, we're going to explore around a little bit and see what we can find. So with that in mind, I spawned in a helicopter and thought we'd first fly around the city trying to get an overview and um, see if there's anything here that catches our eye. Now this is actually my first time in this map and there's a lot of potential here. You could have a lot of fun. I, I could imagine setting up like a whole city for my friends to explore. My, my problem is that you can't save a sandbox mode and share it with other people. As far as I know, maybe you can do that, but I haven't found a way to do that. But could you imagine hiding presents around the city and making your friends collect them? Or even random objects like hot dogs or, or something fun like that. I, I think we could have a lot of fun with it if the developers allow us to do more with this. Now, now that store over there looks a little different than the, uh, the buildings. Um, so I'm going to come over here and see, can I get into this one? Or up on the roof, or does this open? No, no it doesn't. Door? Door? No? Yes? Ah. Alright, What? what is this? Oh, oh, this is the comic store from um, Excitement Avenue. Alright, so again, you can't get in it. Alright, so this is kind of disappointing. It doesn't look like you can get into any of these buildings. So yeah, I, I think this is really a, a missed opportunity from the developers. Okay, what do we got over here? Is this the... Uh, this is the repair shop. Can we... Um, can we at least bring our cars in and repair them? Let me smash this guy up. Uh, mm. Come on, come on. I want to smash the car up so I can take it in for repairs. Alright, let's. This will this will do it. There we go. That's a nice fender bender. All right, can I at least take the car into the repair shop and get it fixed? No? No? Oh, come on! Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I am very disappointed in this. This, this, this definitely leaves us with a lot of unrealized potential. All right, so the last thing I wanted to check on was this statue of the Wobbly in the park. I mean, it's all chipped up. Oh, sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to do that. Um, it's all banged up and chipped up, and it looks like something that in the main game you would be able to use a bomb on and explode. So let's spawn a bomb. Actually, wait. Let me. Can I? Can I no clip through this? Yeah, I can. Uh, so there is nothing inside it. Oh, that is very, very disappointing. All right, so there apparently are no hidden secrets on the city map. And, um, honestly, you can have some fun, but this feels rather unfinished to me. The sandbox mode as a whole shows tremendous potential. I hope they go back and, and they realize it, because it, we could, as a family, have a lot of fun playing around in here. Anyway, I think that's going to do it for this episode of Wobbly Life. I'm going to, I'm going to, just out of curiosity, spawn a bomb and see if I can blow up part of the statue. But if you're enjoying Wobbly Life on the channel, please hit that like button to let us know, and we'll keep bringing you some more. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. We are uh, starting to close in on the 5,000 subscriber mark, <laughs> which is a big deal for us. And uh, we will be back soon with more Wobbly Life for you guys. Thanks for watching.